Okay, what I'm going to do here is just give you a very basic tutorial on getting Genesis 3 Female into Poser. What you first need to do is obviously load up Genesis 3. Right, once you've done that, we need to turn this, change the weighting system on, um, on Genesis 3 Female. Now to do this, go into your scenes, make sure Genesis 3 Female is selected. And what you'll do is go Edit, Rigging, and this is the important convert general weight maps to triaxial weight. That's the, the main way, that's what's going to make it bend and all work in Poser. So click that, it'll come up, yes, you've converted that, go OK. Now the next trick is to save this as a subset. Why you do that is because you don't want to overwrite your your Genesis 3 files. So go make sure that's she's selected. We'll go to save as subsets. I've um, I've saved it in a, a just a temp directory and call her, her exactly the the same name as it's um, written written in the um, the scene tree. So radio uh, Genesis three. Oops. Go save. Just unclick your default camera and go accept. And right, you've you've prepped her up and ready to um, export to Poser. So the next thing we need to do is find that temp directory. I had it under Genesis 3 Female Temp. And there she is. Uh, the good thing with this is um, Daz has um, put um, 3D Delight textures on us so you don't have to apply apply anything you just leave it as default um, make sure you're in the content library tab just highlight um, Genesis 3 female and then what you want to do is go create poser compatible files so click on that Now I'll just leave the first one as is. Me, I've, you might have a few different um, directories here. Put it to the one where you keep all your Dyson files. So just choose that folder. Um, use method, don't, don't use this method because subsets usually strip out the metadata and and it doesn't know what to do with it. So specify figure um, CR2 and say you had hair, you would, uh, or um, just ordinary poses, you would specify that. It all depends what your figure type is in there. All I do is just click on that and just leave it as default. And we go accept. Okay, and basically that's that's all there is to it. Okay, so where this is dumped, this is will be in your. Um, uh, well, I've got my Daz 3D library. This it's it's in the public documents, but you may have it somewhere else. 
So basically it'll have gone to your runtime there and then under libraries, under character and then there'll be a Dyson conversion I'm thinking, where are we? There we go, Dyson conversions. Now we left it at people. We had um, Genesis 3 female. And, but the directory we also called was in a temp directory, so it names it under that. And there's the, the um, four files you'll, that um, poser needs to import it in. Another thing I like to do is just um, grab the, um, in your ordinary Daz Studio under People's Genesis 3, I just like to grab the, um, the icon file, the thumbnail, and just paste it in. Yes, replace. Next, we'll just open up Poser. And under my libraries, whatever, wherever you keep your Dyson, um, Dyson files, and we'll scroll all the way down to Dyson conversion, and it was under peoples, it was under Genesis 3, and it was that temp directory, and you'll see it's got the nice Genesis 3 icon there. Just double click it. Okay, I pause the video there to stop you looking at my screen while it's loading. Um, and that really is how simple it is. Uh, we'll just Test the arms. We'll, um, sorry, my recording software is just killing this. And we'll just bend as well. So you can see the joints are all loading and bending as predicted. Um, what you will have to do, you'll have to do the same method for clothes that fitter. Um, just converting it um, from a weight map into a triaxial weight, saving it as a subset, and then exporting it out in the in the Dyson format under with the CR2 collect. Uh, limitations. Yes, she does have quite a few. It's not a perfect perfect method. Her face, um, facial expressions don't work. Okay, it's um, like you you'll be able to open her mouth, but that's driven by by um, actual bones. The facial bones aren't recognised by Poser. So um, what what Poser needs is to have bones that have have groups associated with those bones, and that's not how um, how um, Genesis 3 works. So um, unless um, they can update the Dyson import, you're stuck without any any facial expressions. But um, clothes and that will just should fit her. I've um, Converted some clothes for her here. I'd, I've actually, where are we? Genesis 3 female. Nope, there we. Right, I've converted some clothes and some hair over for her. Just the uh, basic shorts. Just grab that, drag onto her. And these have got the triaxial weights on, um, weight mapping system on it. Uh, 
and the top just drag on Um, the the poses all work fine. The, I've also exported out poses, just the default poses that come. Now, where did I put these? Under Dyson conversions. Sorry, this is so slow. The recording software just kills me. And there's all the... Uh, I just exported them out myself. Um, just make sure you have um, Vicky, I mean, Genesis 3 selected. Double click. Right, yeah, so it's a, a fairly good conversion. However, see here, there are limitations. Why, um, why this poke through is happening is that um, all um, Genesis 3 stuff has been tested without um, having Poser in mind. So they've used um, a smoothing method and not JCMs to to conform to the figure. So um, you might get vendors in, who will go through the old way and make sure that it all works and poses. Other people won't. Other people will just just um, do as is. So, but that's basically what you can and can't do with with um, Poser. Very simple method. There's no. It's not rocket science. Hope this helps somebody, and um, all the best.